Hi, welcome to our figure eight morning. So today we're going to in explore a little bit of the feeling of yielding using the eights and also the cross energy that we can uh, that we can explore as we use the eights. So let's get started and warm the body by opening it up first and then we'll get into that. And there's some, okay, that's grand. I thought there was a problem, but there isn't. Okay, so let's start with the feet parallel shoulder width. Take a nice big breath in, and there are a few drops of rain, but the optimist in me is saying we'll be lucky. Okay, so palms together, and then we're just going to open with these eights first. And open the body and draw that energy. Feel, you know, I should really. I'm always connected, uh, heels, ball of the feet, and let's connect our dentien, heart center, head, and feel into the palms of your hands. Now let's also include today into the hip joints, feel that we're lighting up energy centers in the hip joints and the shoulder joints, so let's add those to our mix. So we have the heels, feel into the heels, <coughs> the balls of the feet, hip joints on both sides, dantian, and then feel up that column to the heart center, and then feel up through that column to the head center, and let's feel into the palms of the hands and the shoulder joints. Imagine you're turning on lights, energetic, wake up calls in the shoulder joints. So now we have the whole body activated. So we'll take two, go again, open the body. And open, feel like we're drawing this energy up, filling the whole body and releasing. Bring it down, head and heart, release. Out through the palms, the hands, out through the skin, up through the feet into the heart and release and if we did nothing else but feel this connecting reaching out to the universe connecting drawing the energy up releasing bring the energy down releasing Feel yourself reaching, expanding out and out and out. Bring that energy in and then release it out, 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 out. Feel how you're opening, opening, opening. Filling. Open, open, open. Draw the energy up. Open, open, open. Bring that energy down. Open, open, open. Now, if that's all we did, two minutes of that, we're already feeling more open, more connected. So let's have the feet parallel and let's just work these. So now, as you're going around the outside edge of the foot, you don't have to lose that connection to the heel and the ball, but it's just that we're bringing our awareness out around the outside edge, which protects our knee as well. So these eights, really beneficial for those of us who practice a lot of Tai Chi, because you know, if your knee is in here as you're going around, you're going to be damaging that knee. So if we let, it, let these eights now spiral up through you. Feel how delicious it is to just feel all the way around on one side. So allowing yourself to enjoy this, even though it's work, we can choose to enjoy it, to feel how beneficial it is. Uh, 
So now let's go the other way around from the toe to the heel. There are actually drops of rain and sunshine. It's really Irish. It's this repetition of going around the opposite way and then going around our kind of normal way. We're training our body, our brain to recognize these patterns. Oh. And that's sunshine. So now let's get the right arm. The grating. We're going to draw it up through the left leg, across the body, over the head. Now cross it over and bring it down through your right leg as you go around the outside edge. Up the left, across the body, spiraling down, spiraling up. And just let yourself enjoy this feeling of we're spiraling. Imagine the spiraling out to infinity and then back in right down through the earth to infinity on the other side and back up. So we're connecting ourselves right out again to infinity. Feel yourself expanding way past your physical body, up to the heavens and beyond, through the earth and beyond. Okay, now let's do that with the left hand. So we're gonna come up, so we're coming down the left leg, under the ground, up the right leg, spiraling up to the heavens. So just imagine, let yourself feel that connection right out to infinity, way beyond our limited little mind, connect to big mind, to infinity in all directions. Spiral that energy through the body through the mind, opening us to fresh ideas, new experiences in our form and beyond. Spiraling down, spiraling up. So now let's get the two hands involved. So it's going up and down. Mm down and up. Now we're spiraling around that axis, twisting, turning, torque in the body. And it comes up and down the left leg, up and down the right side of the body. step forward with the left into a nice bow stance and again let's connect through the foot up through the dantian the heart you know just feel those energy centers you can feel them by touching or I find it even stronger if you just use that energetic touch to me it connects and this is a bit too physical it's a bit too gross. Whereas when we get the hands off the body, it's a more subtle awareness. It's actually a higher frequency. That's why energy work is so beneficial on the physical body because it comes from a higher frequency. It's like the frequency of love or peace or joy. 
compared to courageousness, pride. They're high frequencies, but love and joy and peace are higher frequencies. So when we touch the body, it's like touching with your physical self, which is good. But take the hands out and feel like you're higher frequency. It's like a higher part of ourselves connect. So we can connect to the Dantian, the heart. We can connect into the head as well. So as we're doing these eights now, we're connecting this energy, that's this higher frequency energy field that's around us gets activated in all our Tai Chi. That's why it's so fabulous for our health, for our awareness. So heal to the toe on the back, heal to the toe on the front. Focus on heel to the toe on the weighted leg. Don't worry so much about the leg that your weight isn't in. It's the weighted leg we're protecting. Protecting the knee. Lovely bumblebee. Okay, now, so let's go from the toe around to the heel. Toe around to the heel. And notice again how that pushes you onto the outside edge. Just enjoy it. And if you've just started the long form, you know, these eights will be good to practice more than once a week because it will tune you into um, the way we work in the long form. So now we're going to get the right hand, left hand involved, or whichever. The front leg, it's that hand is working. So we go around the front, around the back. the same with the other leg forward so it's always the front it's the hand that's on the front leg is the one we're working we can do the other one but that's another story but anyway for now we're going to stick with the front leg and the front hand starting the eight so as we come around the back we're going from the heel to the toe around the front foot heel to the toe so we're spiraling down the front foot up the back foot down the front leg i mean up the back leg through the body connecting to infinity down through the front leg feel like you're connecting right and you could wriggle your fingers if you like bring that wriggly energy through the body my other hand starts wriggling along Ooh. So let's join in the other hand now as well to get spiraling up and down the back leg, up and down the front leg. Feeling that twisting, turning around our central axis. We're spiraling around that axis, spiraling it out to the heavens, into the earth.
So now we're going to, <coughs> I'm going to investigate a little bit of what I call yielding using the figure eights. So have your weight, bring the left foot forward again and the right hand up at the heart. So now as I'm going from the heel to the toe of the left leg, I'm yielding with the right hand. Now I'm going to start coming into the back leg and as I turn back to the center, I yield with the left hand. And now as I come forward, I'm gonna come around that left, feeling like this hand, somebody is pushing here. So you're yielding, you're saying yes, come in. And then somebody pushes this side and you come around the other foot, yes, that's your yield. So around the front foot, we're yielding with the right hand. And this is what the cross energy is as well now. So it's left leg, right hand yielding. Right leg, left hand yielding. So feel like you're reaching, somebody's gonna to push towards you with the right hand and you yield around the front foot. And somebody pushes towards you with the left. This way, so they're pushing you this way and you're going to yield around the back foot. So as they bring your right hand up to a ward off shape and get a feeling somebody's pushing you and you're just gonna stay in your front foot and yield turning right. And now when you get into the back foot, somebody's pushing here and you're going to heel to the toe of the back foot as you yield with the left. So heel to the toe of the front foot as I yield to the right hand. Heel to the toe of the back foot as I yield with the left hand. So you're coming round the front foot, yielding with the right, round the back foot, yielding with the left. Feel this soft, your elbow drops, you feel something is coming and you're just saying yes as you turn your waist to the right. And then somebody's coming in from over here and you say yes as you turn your waist to the left. So yield and yield. Now it's the first half of the yields we were doing last night on the long form. So if you just practice this, yielding around the back foot, yielding around the front foot, it's, you're beginning to connect that cross energy of feeling the left hand as we yield around the back foot, the right hand connected to the front foot. So left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot. You're teaching your brain now doing this, making fabulous new connections. If this is new for you, awesome. Think of your brain lighting up sparks flying as you feel you're yielding with your right hand. And I can feel it, and I'm a long time doing this. I can feel when I get interested, woo, lots of, I look for subtle new things I didn't notice before and feel my brain just saying woohoo. And it's just a beautiful movement anyway. So now to scramble your brain cells even more, we're going to do it on the other side. Whoopee. So now we have the right foot forward. So you always know if it's your right leg, if you're waiting your right leg, you're going to be using your left hand. So we're going to come from the heel to the toe. Now feel somebody's pushing in here. Heel to the toe of the right foot as we yield with the left hand. Now bring your weight into your back foot and then feel like somebody's pushing your right hand and you're going to go from the heel to the toe of the left foot. So right hand, left foot and leg. Left hand, right foot and leg. So we're yielding with the right hand as we go around the back foot. Yielding with the left hand as I come around the front foot, which is right this time. Yield with the right, yield with the left, yield, and yield. Feel like your arms just float along. Softly turning right, noticing everything to the right. And then into the front foot, right foot, turning to the left, everything to the left. Yielding as we turn right. Yielding as we turn left. Soft. And easy. And relaxed. Ooh, and the sun is coming out again. Okay. Mm, so that's something nice to play with. So whenever you're doing it, just notice when you start one foot forward and the weight of the foot that's forward, if it's left, you're working with the right hand first. And you know, if this is new to you, you could just do, you could just turn to the right around the back foot and do that to connect. Say if I'm yielding with my right hand and coming around that left foot, you could just do one hand on its own 
and then do left hand with the back foot on the stone just feeling as you come from the heel to the toe you turn left heel to the toe we turn left heel to the toe we turn left heel to the toe we turn right heel to the toe we turn right heel to the toe we turn right and then you can swap to the other side right foot forward left hand yielding around the front foot turning left yielding around the front foot around the front foot and then right as you go around the back foot and play with it mess it up shake it up you know i spent years just practicing those it's so worthwhile so many happy hours in front of the mirror playing with these eights i have never regretted a minute of it so you're just working on you know what better could you be working on at the moment you're opening your consciousness opening the body tuning to infinity how awesome what else do we come and act for in my opinion nothing else but to tune to that vast awareness bigger than ourselves okay so left foot forward and i would just take a nice easy eight just a break from that brain work and feel the softness yin and yang so this is more yin soft easy and relaxed so important to balance the effort and the ease and let's just enjoy this flowing around our energy field. Feel your palms in this one. Listen. So let's bring that down over all of us and before we do the other side let's just work these one-legged eights a little bit so we're going to sink into the left feel that connection down earth yourself ground yourself with the left foot feel like it's connecting right down your anchor your root right into the center of the planet and then we're going to make start making the eights with the right and these can be along the ground if you're just starting. But if you're at it for a while, let's open them up. So you can feel with the hands that you bring it up and down that central column as well as we're opening out the hip joint, activating that right hip joint shining a light in those dark spaces a few more That is work. So let's shake out this left weighted leg that was doing most of the work, I think. I feel. So lovely to feel the sunshine. So let's sink into the right. Feel yourself connecting, drawing that energy from above the head. Letting it melt down into that right foot, and then we're going to start eating with the left, and then we can feel these hands spiraling up and down. A 
and you could take them out and in as well if you wanted. But I like up and down with this. Soften the face. Shoulders. Two more. Mm. And shake out this right leg. Ooh, 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 ooh. So now let's just let's just do a little bit of revision on that new one that I introduced today. Oh yeah, actually we need to do. Let's do the soft. I love after we do those to just do a little bit of soft. Stop here for a minute and feel, really feel that connection between the palms and you'll feel it now between the arms as well. It's building up with these eights that are just nourishing this whole energy field around the body and then just draw it in. And then over the head. And let's connect to something, to each other first. By thinking, I am you, you are me. And then the bigger, there is only one. So, I am you, you are me. There is only one. And now there is no you. There's no me. There's only one. And there is no you. There's no me. There's only this one consciousness. So there's no you. There's no me. There's only one. We are all little waves in the one big ocean. So, yes, back to today's new exercise. So let's have the left foot forward and just work. This time, let's just do the right hand. So you're going to go from the heel to the toe of the left as you yield with the right hand. And then you could come back, bring it back up and toward off. And as you come around the left foot, yield with your right hand. You're turning to the right and then just bring it back up, staying in the left foot. This will be working your legs as well. Turning right and back toward off, yielding with the right, back toward off. And now sink into your back foot and bring the left hand up into a ward off. So you yield with the left, turning left, and then you can bring it back on top, staying in the back foot. So heel to the toe of the back foot as you yield, and then bring that left hand back up. Heel to the toe of the back foot as you yield, Bring that hand back up. And then you could do the other side. Right hand, left foot, turning to the right. And back up, turning to the right. Back up, turning to the right. Back up, staying in the back foot, now into the front foot. Turning left. And back up, so I'm in the right foot. Left. And back up left and back up so you know maybe that's a bit complicated let me know in the comments if that's okay or too complicated i shall try to simplify and we're just going to do just go back to the feet parallel and do a few of these eights to tune us in for our fun figure eight mini form this letting go and exploring your own, your very own figure eighty minor form. Okay, so let's do that. So let's feel those all those points first before we start. The heels, the balls of the feet. Feel into the hip joint. Palms of the hands, the dantian. 
the heart center. So I feel like it comes up through that central channel into the heart center and then up through the central channel into the head channel, into the head center. And then you can feel it come out the top of your head to infinity, out the bottom to infinity. So it's this channel running up and down through our body. And we're going to activate our eights and play with this mini form. So enjoy. I hope that you are feeling all that wriggling energy in your body and that you enjoyed that exploration today. So thanks for the feedback. <laughs> Great to see those hearts. So, uh, you know, those figure eights are no joke. So just take your time, have fun with them and you can play. You can spiral energy any way you like. There is no wrong way to feel these spirals. You're just, it's our mind we're connecting to infinity. And we're just using this physical body as a tool to connect us up and connect us down. So the important thing is to play with it. And it will, you know, I remember being told early on that nobody can teach you Tai Chi. That it's when you practice, Tai Chi reveals itself to us. So keep up your fabulous practice and you will have more fun and more experiences and in my experience be happier lighter full of fun so lots of love and i shall see you soon have a lovely wednesday bye for now